experimental alpha 17 <laughs> seven days to die let's play um i decided to start this episode a little bit later uh normally when it's a horde night i've been doing starting the episode at uh eight uh but the Horde Knights have been running a little bit longer than normal, so I decided to start it at 12. And I uh, just got back uh, from doing a little car wrenching. Um, I still got some of the stuff on Butch over here. Uh, yeah, a little bit of animal stuff. Uh, I saw a pig, and I finally finished the boar quest. It just went away. I thought it would have me go back to the trader but it didn't it just finished I don't know that there was an actual reward for it or anything but we just got an airdrop so I was gonna head over there uh, so let's go do that real quick and I'll talk about what I've been up to uh, over the night I went and I dug a um, I dug down to bedrock with the auger. Well, actually, I dug down with the pick. Um, and then I started tunneling out at the bottom with the auger. You know, I figured it was a one wide shaft. It wasn't going to, you know, require that much. And I blew through so much gas. You know, it was like 2,000 gas in like no time. Woo! So, uh, yeah, I'd, I figured I'd go wrench some cars since I was starting late. And that's something I can do during the day. Where's the little pond? There it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so I went ahead and did some, just some car wrenching. Oh my goodness, look at all that food and a flashlight. And some crossbow bolts. Uh, not as useful as some of the stuff I've seen. I believe we got that um, tier 6 marksman rifle out of an airdrop. And also, I think the rocket launcher, the tier 6 rocket launcher came out of an airdrop. That's like the first rocket launcher I've seen. So, that was pretty awesome. But this one was pretty... <laughs> So, yeah. Um, not too much happened while I was digging down overnight. Uh, I figured when I went back up, I would have like tons of zombies that just tunneled down trying to get to me and I just didn't hear them. I was really worried about that. Uh, but when I went up, I only had two zombies in my base and they were just of wandering back and forth across my uh, spike, well not my spike traps, my barbed wire fence uh, in the new alleyways that I made for them. So that was kind of cool that they hadn't started tunneling down. It's awesome. So we can go ahead and pick you up. There we go. Um, so I cleaned up all of this. I tore down this other rock that was over here. Um, and I went across the street and I did a ton of wood chopping. I ran almost, I did run completely out of wood overnight. I had zero and I now have uh, a kerfloodle. <laughs> Um, uh, yes, that is a technical term for a metric button. No, I didn't really get that much over 6,000. Got about nine, I guess, around that. And I decided to move, like, the sand and the stone over, uh, near the cement mixer because I kept I kept trying to look in <laughs> the chest with concrete 
uh, for the stone and stuff. So I moved that stuff over here. This is the stone I got overnight um, and from tearing down that other rock. Uh, I also turned a thousand sand. Uh, I think I got another thousand sand in here. So that's awesome. I have stuff going on over here. that's a thing. I also had uh, the iron being melted here that I got from busting all the rocks. So that's good. Look, look, I'm so happy to actually have some iron. Uh, that is awesome. So I think I've been putting the flashlights there. Um, most of this stuff is food, although we do have some bones and leathers to throw over there. And we'll put our motorcycle away. And I guess I'll put this uh, sand away too. We got some steel crossbow bolts out of that. And just tons of food. Um, the pasta, the sham, uh, that stuff can go up. But we do got, we did get some salmon, so uh, that'll be for fish tacos. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so, good times. Uh, we need to eat a little bit. I didn't even, I didn't even harvest my crops last night. Oh. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm getting close to, once I fill this up, I'm going to stop the yucca. I could probably go ahead and pull the golden flower. Um, possibly even the chrysanthemum. Look at how much of this stuff extra we have, especially since the vegetable stew gives us some uh, hydration. We might not need, we're, pro, we're not drinking. I've only been drinking the coffee for the stamina regen, but since I don't have to use the power attacks to mine, I haven't really needed it because, uh, well, I guess, you know, if I didn't ever stop, uh, but I stop and I plant the sapling back, uh, that gives me a little bit of a, you know, not very long, of a reprieve but it does give me a little bit so that's good uh, let's see so horde night I am <laughs> I'm excited to see I'm simultaneously excited to see how uh, what some of the changes in the patch they've done to the zombie AI and terrified at the same time because if it's changed too much it could completely undermine the whole design that I've been doing. Um, yeah, I'm thinking like next time I might like in the middle here uh, of one of the corners uh, try building a pit and see how many zombies fall in there I don't know if they will or whatever um, but I, I really just want to build a pit so I could put some traps in there not just like spike traps, but some of the electrical traps, uh, because I think uh, I could hide some of the wiring underground. And I mean, we could even install um, electrical fences um, outside of these, uh, so that <laughs> as they come in, they can, can jolt. Uh, 
Yeah, good times. Um, yeah, just I'm trying to think of what. Oh, look, they got a like a little pathway in there. We might want to go around and check the defenses, the outer defenses, make sure they're all up to snuff uh, while it's still early. We don't have that many spike traps. Um, I did see that a few were missing, so maybe we'll go ahead and make up some more of those. About 25 will do. Boink. over there. He's looking to come into zombie land. Um, that one looks good. Hey, 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 hey. Um, over here, pal. I can't wait to work this house. Work this house down. Um, oh. Hi, Chumpa Wumpa. Um, <laughs> I, I told my husband I named this guy Chumpa Wumpa, and he's like, no, that's Edgar, because uh, he likes Game Edge, and uh, Game Edge calls him Edgar, but I'm going to call him Chumpa Wumpa. Okay, it looks like none of these traps are missing. That looks good. Oh, hey, what? No offense breaking. I believe this uh, other corner was the one that had taken quite a bit of damage. Let's go ahead and pair that one up. I found that if you aim for this middle branch, uh, you have success. And also on these, like, you need to aim for like the left or right branches. Oh, what is this? Okay, so that was that one. That one was pretty jacked. Okay. This is the one. Yeah, they, I don't... Sounds over here. Oh, I totally missed. She's gonna scream. It's all fun and games until you get an arrow in your knee. Oh, Jesus. How did I miss that? Shit. Let's get that. And skedaddle! <laughs> oh no! I can't jump! <laughs> oh. oh, I just fixed all those, you punks! Where are they coming from? There's a big mama, she doesn't look like she's running. Right, let's go out and have a chat with them. Hopefully... Hey, 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 hey! Oh, there's a biker dude. Um, yeah, let's go. Oh, here's the other two. Okay, so the biker dude and these two guys. I see that um, Chumpa Wumpa was given an experience boost, by the way. If you didn't notice that when I killed him while ago. He's worth 800 experience now. Like um, the biker guy. So this biker guy should be worth 800. 
Whereas before they were worth 1200 Now they're worth eight. Uh, so Chumpa Wumpa is 800 as well as uh, I guess the Hawaiian guy and the biker guy. And I just, you know, I just fix these guys. Come on. All right. And I think, um, Big Mama, Big Bertha, mess these up. Oh, nerds. Okay. So what was in that bag? I didn't even see. It was like a steel arrow, a painkiller, and 11 9 millimeter rounds. Yeah. Painkiller, that's not too bad. Oh, it must have had more than just one steel arrow that just filled up my stack there, I guess. <sighs> okay. I completely forgot what I... Oh, we were just checking on the spike traps, so those... Those are good now. Get those taken care of. <laughs> Fifteen o'clock, huh? Forty-nine hundred iron. So, um, what I want to start doing now, uh, is making iron bars for this outside area um, because I stand on this quite a bit as they're they're coming in and uh, you know if they're out here uh, this is a good spot uh, to aim from and <laughs> I don't think I've repaired it yet but this one over here has uh, taken quite a bit of damage and I would just like to uh, sort of um, upgrade this whole outside ring with iron bars. Uh, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, so it would be eleven on each side, which would be twenty-two. So it would be twenty-three. So forty-six per side. Actually 45 because I'm gonna uh, surround this and I'd really like to upgrade these blocks uh, to the stone as well. Okay. And eventually they're gonna be concrete all the way around. See I really like um these are only taking like breath damage and explosion damage. They're really, I haven't seen any that are really damaged that are worth, you know, getting the iron to repair them for. Uh, so for the most part, you know, they're, well, that one's, you know, a couple hundred down, but that's still okay. So 45, oh my goodness. Um, plus, that's just twice. Then the other two sides will actually be shorter because we'll have the corners. So that'd be one, two, three, four, eight. So it'd only be like 37 for the other two sides. Boy, I'm, I think I'm going to wait and hold off and try, that'll be something I try to do for next ward night. Um, oh, yeah, that does go there. It's like, oh no, that doesn't go there, but it does. Uh, so we can put these guys away. Yeah, this is the right chest. I was like, wait a minute, that's not the right chest, but this is the right chest. 
and we have repair materials on us. Look at that. I'm going to have to like throw some of that in the chest. So I have room for more. What is that? I think that might stack to like 6,000 as well. I'm, I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, plus... You know, I just don't see me needing to the rebar right now because I'm basically just upgrading everything. You know, maybe if I were to destroy these, I might replace them with rebar. It would be cheaper than doing the cement block and upgrading it, isn't it? I mean, you're just in it the the metal instead of having to do two tiers of cement you just do the one I don't know. oh that's way too much fuel for that but that's okay we'll check on it in, in a minute again and All right, so I guess um, I definitely want the machete and the compound bow, but we're not going to need the pick or the axe. And there's our shovel. Uh, I'm curious. Um, so, like, my steel pickaxe has... I, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm not understanding the the modification slots. My steel pickaxe is level five, but it only has one modifier slot. The steel fire axe has three modifier slots. And my steel shovel has two. So my thoughts on this are either a, the steel pickaxe only has one slot, the steel shovel has two, and the steel fire axe has three. Or that when you make it, it just randomly gets up to a maximum amount of modifier slots for that tier. And maybe that's why my shotgun does not have a modifier slot, because it just picked a random one, and that happened to be zero. I'm tempted to make another one and see if that's correct. Uh, but it's 32 iron or steel in a lot more other resources uh, that I don't remember right off the bat. Um, did I favorite the shotgun? Yes, I did. Oh, look at that, 73 ammo. Uh, 20 mechanical parts. Yeah, I wouldn't want to just waste the duct tape. So what I might do is Let's throw this ammo up here um, I made 20 steel That's the wrong chest So what I might do is while I'm getting this stuff and things ready make another steel pickaxe and see if it has a different amount of modifier slots because this one has the least so if i get zero or more then i know it's just a random thing and then i'm not using up all those other materials as well so yeah let's make our steel pickaxe and it's going to take a minute and, a, and, and something. Okay, so... I definitely want my marksman rifle. Um, I want the repair kits, but man, I wish I could tell it to only use one. We're 
probably, we're going to keep that honest, not on the hot bar. We're also going to keep that honest, but not on the hot bar. Uh, do, do, do. Let's go check our ammo situation. We got, we went to the trader and we made some great deals on our extra uh, guns and we bought tons of ammo with it. Tons and tons. And I, uh, we we also bought coal and gunpowder, and we still have more gunpowder. But I think that that is enough ammo. We're gonna probably take the nine millimeter as well, and we do have a little bit of extra ammo there. I don't really know how they're gonna be. Let's not put that right next to our bandage. <laughs> Oh, look, that, that acts as a light. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so we'll probably need the SMG. that on our hot bar as well and then I would also like maybe some of our first aid kits also I read in the patch notes that um, I think they changed the blood draw kit where before I used it all it would do would take down my thirst it wouldn't ever take away health so supposedly they fixed that well, let's see. Oh. Uh. Yeah, and it gave me a debuff. And it's draining my hunger like mad. Let's see what that debuff is. Mild anemia. Okay, and it's counting up. I don't know <laughs> why that does that. Maybe it's only supposed to... Maybe you need to like eat something, eat some meat, because you know, anemia. And like I said, when it took your life, it also lowered your max health there, which is no bueno. Uh, but it gets you the blood bag. So that's kind of cool. I'm wondering how long this is gonna last. Um, Probably not a good idea to be experimenting uh, with it. So we probably don't want to pop that again while we have the anemia buff. So that's cool that they fixed that. I, I mean, it's always been to where um, plus it um, I think it lowered my max my max health was like 120. And then it dropped it down. So was my max stamina. So let's go ahead and eat and see if that... Plus I think I saw that they they're changed it to where when you get the infection it doesn't... go as far down on the stamina as it did because that that was sort of a bug so wow that anemia buff is not going away had it for two minutes let's kind of just keep an eye on that I guess um, what I want to do is repair this guy so there we go So let's make sure we got us all locked and loaded. This one isn't because we ran out of bullets last time. 
500 bullets. Oh. Okay, well, <clears throat> hopefully that that bop will go away soon. Oh, let's go check on our steel pickaxe. Right, let's see what it's got. Modify. Ah, so it looks like it's random amount of modifier slots from but you can't get any at level one so it's only at level two can you start getting the modifiers and then if you craft it it gets a random number from zero to whatever one minus the level I don't know if you're supposed to get one for every level if there's a max amount of slots um, our marksman rifle has five slots so and we looted that and that's one minus the level um, so let's go look at uh, we got a tier six rocket launcher And it has five slots. <clears throat> so it looks like when you get them dropped, they have the max amount, maybe. And when you craft them, they get a random. And we just unloaded that. Uh... Oh, I think the... I didn't get that out. Shoot. <laughs> so I was... Where's my submit? Okay, it's only going to take 35 seconds, so. But that is interesting that they would do that on the crafted stuff. How long is this anemia buff going to last? It's been five minutes. Uh, you are weak from blood loss and will tire faster. Healthy eating can reduce this effect. Yeah, I had some vegetable stew, dude. I think we're getting a horde because I hear spider monkey possibly. Yeah, come with me if you want to live. Um, I also read that they reduced the number of mobs in the, like roaming hordes. Hey guys, over this way! Zombie land is this way! Make sure you bring your credit cards. Go! You can buy your tickets. Oh my god, I hate spider monkeys! Oh, I'm out amount of uh, the juice. Oh, a little bit of stutter in there. Oh, I missed him. And I'm out again. Oh. <laughs> I died. So, I'm feeling sick. Hopefully that doesn't turn into an infection right before the board night. Um, oh, the, the fire got to her. Excellent. <laughs> it's so dramatic. It's ominous, like... You're going to die tonight. <laughs> uh, so, that was very interesting. So we will take our die. Because I think I originally wanted to put 
the the modification in my steel pickaxe, but I only had the one slot. And I thought it would do better on the wrench. And I think they may have increased the damage that you do with the wrench as well as the pick and the fire axe. Because I seem to, uh, I don't know, it just seemed a lot less painful when I was wrenching. <laughs> Maybe I was just so grateful that the game hadn't been ruined for me. Um, uh, because I was I was really worried if if I hadn't found out that you know you don't want to do the power attacks while you're mining and I'd just gone on with it I probably would have like oh no I can't do this but yes okay our it looks like our illness went away but we still have anemia holy cow um but right, let's go. We got hit, so let's go use just a normal bandage. And I'm telling you, if if I was gonna say anything, uh, I would say eating a meat stew would get rid of my anemia. Healthy living. healthy eating and I mean I can't think of anything better than a meat stew that would get rid of your anemia I don't know sham chowder uh, a fish taco but vegetable stew I could see you know since there technically isn't a protein in there uh, you know that it wouldn't uh, counteract the effects of anemia but meat stew come on that's got 10 freaking meat in there <laughs> tell me that's not good for you <sighs> look at all of this stuff I have and <sighs> okay so we got the ammo um, also what I want is to maybe get some of our painkillers. Maybe not so much. I don't know how, it seemed to me like when you're using the bow, when you're using the bow and you're aiming, you draw and you're aiming, your stamina goes down. So yes. And it's going down quite rapidly. So you don't ever want to like hold your aim. You want to lose it. You want to send it. <laughs> but when you're on your... Oh! Did I just do that? So I guess if what, what I'm saying is when I do this... There is really no draw, and it's the draw that's draining your stamina. So if you use uh, a gun instead of a bow, it won't drain your stamina. It kind of just <laughs> uh, didn't seem that obvious to me, because I was just like, well, if you hold your aim, you lose your stamina. But that's not something you need to do with this. You're just looking through the scope. Um, you're not actually using your arm to pull back <laughs> like you are with the compound bow. And I think that would be more significant on the compound bow because it takes much more strength to hold it back than, uh, you know, the normal bow because it's, it's a normal bow. Or the compound bows should be easier because it's technically, you can unleash more power by the way it's built without using as much power. So, I don't know. I don't know really a whole lot about compound bows or regular bows <laughs> uh, or guns for that matter. Uh, 
Not not real big on, you know, like uh, going into the woods and shooting up a deer or anything like that. <laughs> Although, uh, I do have cousins who, they live out in the country. And that's like the sort of thing they do. <sighs> this anemia is not going away. Wow. 13 minutes. I mean, how long are you supposed to have this? And I mean, let's look at our skills. It looks like it's taken away my fortitude and agility. Yeah, fortitude and agility. No strength, no perception, no int. Uh, Oh, it, look, it uh, reduced hidden strike. I guess that's just anything you have points in. It will reduce it down to one. Or reduce it by one. I don't know. Um, we do have seven points to spend, so... Um, we got the dead eye. Oh, we can purchase another slot. Uh, which will give us more with... Um, with our rifle, which is good. And then let's try to get, yes, uh, another one of these. The boom headshot. Um, I'm trying to look, uh, this might be something good that we'll want to do for doing the POIs since we're seeing more uh, ferals. So uh, that's something I haven't been putting points into, but look, we can get it up to tier four and still have a point left. So, oh yeah, and this will have a chance to stun the enemies at tier three, which is even better. That's what uh, we're definitely looking for. And the tier 5 looks like it would be good too, because then leg shots will cripple your opponents. So we just aim for their legs, and then boom, they no run. <laughs> Which is good. So, um, let's see, what else do we have? I would... Pack Mule... I think I'm going to spend a point in that, or... Oh, I would definitely, I would love number three on that. I've already seen some heads exploding, so I guess they have a very small chance that that's going to occur. But I would like to... Nice. Um... Yeah, five successes hits in a short time causes the last blow to do 100% extra damage. So, maybe something like having the flurry of blows would help that. Uh, I don't know that bleeding is, is going to do much. I mean, is this something that's for PvP? Specialize in using bladed weapons to bleed your foes dry. Bleeding effects can stack up to three times, increasing the damage. That would be great if it works on a zombie, but I wouldn't see that a zombie could bleed very effectively. So... 
See, and this one says specialize in knocking your foes senseless with clubs. So that isn't doing me a whole lot of good anymore. Oh, yeah, I wish there was a way to respec so that I could take those points out and put them somewhere else. Uh, that's not going to do us very much good tonight, though. I can put another point into perception. I think I will. That'll be more range damage and accuracy. And like you, that's, oh look, the anemia finally went away. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know about my frames per second. Um, it was before it was like 40 frames per second that I was getting, um, so I don't know what to think about that. Um, maybe is it, is it the, like the lights, which I'm glad that they fixed those. Well, it, now it's at like 33, 35. Huh. Maybe if I, I just have too many lights. I don't know. That's up to like 35. Five now. Oh, it went back down. I don't know. I don't know why it used. I used to be getting forty, and now I'm getting like twenty-five. Uh, so that didn't seem to help. So let's go ahead and. Yay! It went on the block. Uh, that is awesome. Because uh, sometimes when you would put it, it would be like floating in the air. And then other times it would actually get sucked into the block. <laughs> I mean, it would still emit a little bit of light. Uh, yeah. I don't know what to do with those. I don't want to go back up top. It's almost time. Oh my god. Okay, so we spent that last point. Also, um... Let's see. I'm at game stage 136 and I've had nine deaths, 1300 kills. I'm level 80? Seriously? Wow. Um, I need to repair this. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, I think that takes forged iron. Oh, um, something else, uh, while I was looting cars, I got this insulated liner schematic, so that's cool, but I think what this does is protect you from cold. Yeah, so I don't, I haven't seen a cold biome in this map, so that's pretty much worthless to me. Oh, another thing that I read on the patch notes is that the traders will now have modifications in their uh, to sell list so that um, you can go to them. So we might want to go uh, take some more guns that we have, some of the repair them up and see if we can go sell them and get some more cash because we don't have a whole lot. We got 2400 oh look we got more stuff over here <laughs> uh, so maybe we'll um, I did get some more oil that's the wrong one look at all the stuff and things we're not getting a whole lot of electrical parts uh, but yeah we're getting tons of mechanical parts pipes 
uh, plastic, springs, um, and I got some more oil. We were down to like under 10, I think. Um, and I got tons of gas. That's really why I wanted to go because now that I have the auger, man, I can go through 2,000 gas. Lickety split. <sighs> Lickety split. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do the thing with the thing. Oh, we have so much rock. I feel rich, you know. I feel rich. That is, uh, makes me feel good. And we have over a thousand concrete over there. We got plenty on us for repairs. Um, I don't really have anything, I don't think, that besides the spike, uh, the barbed wire fence that takes the metal. So yeah, I don't really know that I need that. I'm trying to think, do I need anything else? So maybe that meat stew worked. Um, I'm getting a little bit, a little bit low on my vegetable stew. And I am like, look, I'm like one thing down. Now let's top off. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and repair our gloves too. I think I brought that stuff up. And you have to like, it's weird because you have to like take these off uh, to repair them. But then when you do, it goes back onto the spot. I want to see it. Oh, you're kidding me. A screamer right before the horde? you got to be freaking kidding me. See? The gloves are now there. We're gonna repair that. Lady. You are totally getting... Oh, she's over in the other corner. I think she just killed herself. Yeah. Ah, but she destroyed one of my spikes. Okay, um... Yeah, I wanted to maybe eat one of these. Let's eat a can of sham. Well, no, let's look at our thirst. We might need some thirst. Maybe we'll have some soup instead. Yeah. Let's, um... Five stamina. It does one health. Ten water. I think all of these are the same. So yeah, let's have some chicken soup. There we go. Oh! Oh! It's organized. It is 2143. Oh my gosh. Did I do enough? I have 500 ammo. I have some shotgun shells on me. I don't really want to use those if I don't have to. Um, because those those are for ferals. So maybe if I get a cop or something, uh, I might use it to try to, you know, wear him down quickly. Because I've seen that the shotgun seems to do a lot more damage than it did in Alpha 16. The shotgun just seemed really weak. Um, like, yeah, you would only use it to cripple them, but it didn't do a lot of damage. Maybe I just suck. <laughs> I don't know what. Um, we're going to turn our headlight on because uh, it's not going to matter. Um, we're going to see what they do with this. I think they're just going to completely ignore it. Uh, because of the openings. 
the openings in the gate, I think they see that as a bigger weakness um, than the pathfinding up there. We'll see though, maybe they'll get clogged up and then they'll go, hey, there's no room for me. Oh, no. oh, and they're coming from this side. Oh, look, there's already a freaking cop. Are you kidding me? Look, the roller coaster of love. Get in. Oh. oh, he's being stupid. Oh, I misfired. Christmas. Okay. Yeah, we gotta move around to to lure them. So he's um he's doing some good pathfinding. Dude, seriously. Let's um let's see what happens if we move over here. Excellent. Ah, oh, nerds. I'm surprised that they're not running. Yeah, none of them seem to be running. I did put it on run. Oh, wait, he is. Oh, he moved. Oh, darn it. Yeah, I guess they're running. Maybe they changed what the definition of running is. Uh, because I saw on there that the sprint option is actually um, after the run. So maybe they uh, toned down what speed the run is and uh, made sprints faster oh look at him he doesn't know where to go <laughs> this is awesome oh look oh he didn't go all the way over that is awesome that they are going up there, though. when I get my shot lined up and yeah come over here So they are sort of going on there, but not as much as I thought they were. It's kind of funny that they're just running back and forth here, but also kind of cheesy. I don't know, I just... 
expected them to like try to get to my base. <laughs> yeah, stay down, buddy. Oh, look, she's running. She seems to be going pretty fast. Oh, level up. Ah. Sorry if I'm not talking. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that. That corridor seems to be really tripping them up. Um, oh look, they busted through right there. Stay down there, lady. Oh, look, his head is stuck in the fence. Oh, that's all. Jump over the bodies. Is he getting up? See, that's another thing. Oh, we got a dog. Got a couple of dogs. There looks like their pathfinding is a little bit different than. Oh no! Did you see that guy jump? Whoa! Okay, good. I thought I killed. Oh, that's a different dog. It looks like they're just totally avoiding that, um, that lane. Oh, I just destroyed a block. They're completely avoiding the lane because they can walk along the outside without taking any damage. So they're completely avoiding the, the inner lane and just going back and forth. Oh. Oh. Uh, look at how far you can freaking jump. Oh my god. Like a frog. Oh my goodness, I can't get anything dead. I don't like that spider monkey. I think I got him dead. I'm I just I didn't think that this was going to happen. I wanted to confuzzlate them, but honestly, I thought um, they would have gotten into um, to start pounding on my base somewhere. But they're just wandering back and forth.
that <laughs> most of that damage done to that fence is all my fault. about they don't know where they don't know which way to go oh <laughs> she did a cartwheel over the fence Oh, yeah. Oh, nerds. I hate that empty click sound. Oh, his head exploded. Do you see that? It can happen. That's what I miss. Uh, about Alpha 16. Haven't seen very much explodiating head in Alpha 17 or you know limbs getting dismembered oh no okay that was what five shots Oh no. That I know he's going to jump up here. them very good they move there we go it's midnight o'clock zero o'clock uh oh yes I need to pause the recording sorry okay <laughs> we're back sorry about that Excuse me, um, because it was a horde night, I had to play, uh, play the game from 8 to 12, so I started my recording a little bit later than normal, and, uh, my husband came home for lunch, so we had to go, <laughs> we went out to eat lunch, and now we're back, and, well, I'm back, you had to go back to work, so now we're ready to deal with the rest of this horde oh my goodness look at all the big mobs there are so many big mamas oh here comes another wolf uh yeah it looks like they're going straight down the middle uh so i wonder what what difference their ai has compared to the rest of these guys because the rest of these guys are being freaking morons I think uh, here comes a normal spider monkey I still hate you oh right up the wazoo oh here comes another dog now I think I think if those dogs actually get to there and make a clear path, um, yeah, I think, um, oh, where'd you go? I think they'll, uh, the zombies might take a, a different turn. I think they might actually come through. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> They're fighting over. No, I get to go first. No, me. Look, that chick is stuck. I don't think she'll be stuck anymore. Nope, she's actually coming. Oh, that did not kill her. That did, though. Oh, look, there's a couple military dudes coming. Oh, he did the splits. Oh, man. Oh, exploding heads. Yes. Oh, he ducked down right at the last second. I love seeing their heads explode. Here comes another zombie dog. Let's wait for him to come down the middle. Whoa, did you see him flip over? That's crazy. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, he's actually walking on... <laughs> oh, exploding heads! Yes! Oh, we gotta keep an eye out, make sure there's no cops or whatever coming. Oh, his head got stuck in the fence. I think they should take damage from that. Getting head stuck in fence. Oh, I lifted, I felt myself lift up right at the last second. Ah! Oh! He zigged when he should have zagged. Turd head? Oh, he's like over in the corner. Here. Ah. Ah. Happy nibbles. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come up. I think it's because there's the fence is broken. Oh, look at that. They're trying to tempt me. Oh, nerd. Dance for 
for me, dance! Oh! He lost his head. Shots rang out. Thirty zombies fell. So she missed all of the zombies, but she shot her base to hell. <laughs> This one got smart on us. Oh, I'm out! Oh boy. Oh, it's just so hard to tell when they're going to freaking turn. And then they turn. Oh, I love when their head explodes. Oh my goodness, they just keep, they just keep on coming. He died. Trying to see about getting these guys. They're all like coupled up on this one spot. Until now. Oh man! They just keep coming. Oh, nerds. those two shots. This is horrible. Just send it. Ah. Oh, I think it might be over. like they died off. <sighs> Look at... <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah, I think most of the fence, they did hit the fence some, um, but most of that fence damage was for me missing. So yeah, um, it looks like that's it. Uh, so I guess we'll go ahead and uh, call the episode here so we can get a little bit of off camera time and done cleaning up, maybe replacing some of those fence. And yeah, anyway, uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.